Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Matt Hoffman. I am a visual content creator, designer, photographer, videographer, uh, copywriter. I don't know, a lot of stuff. I do a lot of different things. Um, play music for a long time. Um, anyway, so uh, I've been charged with the question, what advice would you give to uh, budding creators? Uh, young, uh, green in their craft, in their, uh, in their pursuit of making things that people like. Um, and that's a great question. I think that the number one thing that I see uh, people kind of get wrapped up in are uh, focusing on the details, focusing on the specifications of the tools they're using versus uh, focusing on developing their perspective, uh, their style, the way that they actually see the world and see the things that they're capturing to communicate with an audience. Uh, so I would say uh, the tools are really important. Um, the things you're using are really important because those are the things that you're using to communicate, right? But what's even more important is uh, it's, it's the beauty of what you're communicating. And the only way you can really see the beauty is if you have your perspective uh, trained to be able to see it. Um, so I would say, uh, just as much as you're as you're learning how to use your camera or your computer or your uh, I don't know your handsaw, whatever it is, like as much as you're learning how to use the thing, uh, train yourself in, uh, in, in approaching using it. So focus on your perspective as much as you're focusing on the specifications of the tool. Um, yeah, I think that's. What else you want to know? Pick my brain, Logan. What else? What else? I got all sorts of stuff. I don't. I don't. What is your favorite thing about creating? My favorite thing about creating? Um, not knowing how people are going to interpret what you create. So I think that uh, that kind of open-endedness uh, about making something that you're really proud of and something that you think is beautiful uh, and kind of like releasing that out into the world for people to kind of look at and interpret and uh, inspire and, and you know find their own creativity through. Like I think that I think there's something really beautiful with that, and I think uh, it gives us the ability to really connect with one another uh, in a way that uh, isn't present unless we're actually creating and putting stuff out there. Uh, it's kind of this mystery of, of creation, right? Like uh, there's so many artists that back in the day, like they created so many things and they were like prolific and they were brilliant and they uh, they made things that were that have become infamous but at the time nobody knew who they were and nobody cared about what they were creating um, so you have no idea who's gonna connect with something when they're gonna connect with it uh, or how they're gonna connect with it so I just think that's a really cool uh, aspect of just kind of like putting yourself out there and just kind of letting the world receive it and use it however they want also what's the favorite thing your favorite thing about your new uh, Fuji uh, favorite thing about the Fuji, um, it's not my old Canon. I was starting to get capped on what my camera was able to do. Um, so, uh, autofocus. That's why I really, why I bought this camera. It makes my life really easy. Uh, so, that's probably my favorite thing. Because I didn't have autofocus that really worked. I mean, it was like a robot that was like slowly dying. You know, it's like kind of laggy and stupid. So this thing's like super fast. Even with the kit lens, it's super fast. Autofocus, focuses in video. I don't know, there's just so many things. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll keep playing around with it and see what it is capable of. So yeah. Cool. Woo! That's a wrap, I guess. That's a wrap. Cool. You still shoot?